diving bell is what they climb into that's kind of like their elevator. They'll take that down to the bottom, down onto the job site. Inside the bell is air, okay? When they get down to the bottom, they flood it, put water in it, and once the inside of the bell is flooded with water, the hatch will open. The hatch opens, they climb out, they do their job, they work. When they're done, they go back into the bell, climb into the bell, turn the air pressure on on the bell, water will flood out, now it's a watertight compartment. They can take their helmets off, they can take their, their diving helmets off, now they're breathing the air in the bell. They bring the bell up to the, to the surface, and then they take that bell and they lock it in. We'll have the barrack chamber like this, it will be a lock-in bell that locks in against this port, and then they'll pressurize the hyperbaric chamber to the same pressure as the bell. When they're equal pressure, the door will open, and then the diver can climb into the hyperbaric chamber, close the door, they'll depressurize the bell, and disconnect that, and then he can be inside the hyperbaric chamber sleeping and eating. A lot of times they'll have uh, video movies that they'll they'll put in the porthole so that you can sleep and watch a movie through the portholes and just relax and, and stay under pressure because your body is now saturated with gases. So you want to keep the body at pressure so that your body doesn't react to the gases.